so the messages I was getting for you guys was being very confused on what to do in a certain situation. Also, I was getting debating if you should walk away from this, just feeling unsatisfied in some sort of situation. For some of you, it's a relationship. For those of you interested in a personal reading, go check out my website at swordstarot.com to look at my different reading options over there. Also, be sure to go check out the new merch at swordstarotmerch.com. I have a lot of super cute stuff over there for you guys to check out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just get into the video. We're a marriage. Four of Wands energy. <clears throat> Universe, what are the messages for Virgo? Okay. So we have the Empress card energy here as well. So I feel like some of you have like a marriage and possibly a child with someone or have a child on the way. And that could be um, kind of what's making this decision really hard because I do feel like either you or your partner for some of you are unsatisfied with the connection or the relationship or where things are going. But it's like maybe you have so much uh tied together or maybe you just have a lot of responsibilities together we do have the three of wands energy here so i feel like you are ready for a change uh possibly even waiting for something to come in it doesn't necessarily have to be relationship related but possibly waiting for some sort of news we do have the four of cups the magician and the ten of cups so yeah you guys are trying to create this happy lives for yourself the ten of cups is just all around happy satisfied um, with your life, family, and home, but it's like something's coming up short. The Four of Cups is being unsatisfied or um, just possibly even disappointed in a situation. We do have the Queen of Pentacles here as well, so I see you just trying to get back in balance. Ten of Wands energy and the and the Judgment card. This is a very hard decision, whatever it is that you're facing. Like I feel like for some of you, this is like you're about to walk away from your whole life like everything that you've created this marriage that you've created i feel like some of you are debating like okay should i like bounce out of this situation so let's figure out why you know you're thinking this or feeling this um possibly even with work as well this could be a situation that you've created maybe you've worked at this place for a very long time or you've had this business for a very long time it's like i feel like a part of you is just unsatisfied and wants change in something why is the four of wands energy here for virgo <clears throat> okay so we have the knight of swords yeah making the wisest decision for a lot of you this is love um lover's card energy coming out making the wisest decision as far as this goes is it wise to stay in this is it wise to move forward with this maybe you guys aren't even married yet maybe you guys haven't had children yet but this is something that you're planning i feel like some of you are like really <clears throat> questioning if this is going to work out all of a sudden i mean maybe not all of a sudden but some of you are questioning this. I will say the Three of Wands has come out twice, also clarifying the Empress. For those of you that are trying to get pregnant, I do see that happening for you. <clears throat> or maybe you're waiting to get pregnant. Like maybe some of you are like really hoping. I do see that coming in the future for you. Why is the Three of Wands energy here? Yeah, the Empress. <laughs> so yeah, there's a baby coming. So if you are questioning if you're pregnant, definitely do go get a test because the energy is here. Literally, the, the Three of Wands clarified the Empress, then the Empress clarified the Three of Wands. There is a child coming in, uh, pregnancy coming in for you. Why is the Four of Cups energy here? Also, I do feel for some of you, you're, you're waiting on an opportunity. It could be a business opportunity, but I do see this coming in. You're manifesting this. The magician right here in the middle makes me feel that you guys are manifesting uh, very rapidly right now. Like maybe, I don't know where your planets are, but maybe you're feeling as if shit's just coming to you very fast. Your just answers are coming to you very fast. Some of you guys may be concerned about finances as well. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? <clears throat> maybe trying to hold back, trying to spend less, or of course that could be the advice as well. Okay, so we have the King of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Some of you guys will be dealing with the Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You're confused surrounding this situation. It could be someone that you are in a business partnership with or a relationship with. Why is the Seven of Cups energy here? Okay. <clears throat> All right. So you worry. Maybe you, whether it's you or this person, I feel like one of y'all, y'all spy on each other page of wands maybe you're all over each other's social medias you're worried about something or you're insecure about something or vice versa maybe it's this person but the devil this is definitely being insecure in your relationship maybe not trusting your relationship and the fact that the devil card is here in the knight of sword oh yeah this person's guilty i'll tell you that this person is guilty knight of wands and the five of swords something happened and i do feel with the five of swords energy they are trying to 
get away with it. So yeah, these thoughts that you have, what you're looking for, whether you can find it or not, it happened. So, because you can't let it go. So this is the universe and your intuition telling you, yeah, something did happen. This person is guilty. And it's hard to accept that, but I do feel for some reason you can't let something go. The magician and the three of swords, you know you're being manipulative, manipulated. You feel like you're being manipulated. Yeah, but it's like, I don't know. I feel like uh, some of you don't want to believe it. Or you're just like, how could this person do that? Like, you, you don't want to believe it. Like, how could this person do that? We've built this life together. We have a child together, potentially. Um, we're married or we're going to get married. Like, I feel like everything is fine or was fine. But you cannot let something go. And I feel like that's for a reason. Why is it to a swords energy here? Why does, what does Virgo need to know? Because I feel like you already know. But it's like, you don't want to know. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, for some of you, this is a pregnancy. Ooh, yeah. For some of you, this is a pregnancy. That just hit me. And that could be in any way. That could be like, baby, you're pregnant. You got someone pregnant. They got pregnant by someone else. I'm getting all types of scenarios here. But, yeah. And there's a reason you can't let this thought go. I feel like you just want to trust this person. Knight of Pentacles energy. You just want to trust them. You just want them to be reliable. But a part of you just can't trust them. Why is the Ten of Wands here? The King of Swords. Yeah, and it's going to be, this is going to be hard. Like the Ten of Wands is being very overwhelmed. I feel like mentally you're overwhelmed, overthinking this shit. Like, and I feel like you are overthinking it because you do quite, like you're confused. You do question, why would this person do this? Like, we're fine. Our life is fine. Why like, why are you unsatisfied? Like, I feel like those are the questions that's going through your head. And I feel like this person, I will tell you something about the devil energy here. This is like, this person is only concerned with what you can do for them, with their selves. How they, can you benefit them? Not how they can add to the relationship. So it's like, if they feel unsatisfied in some sort of way, of course, they're going to look to somewhere else. So, yeah, I feel like if you feel as if you're being used, because the Five of Swords, that's kind of that energy here. If you feel like you're being used, you are, because your intuition is telling The reason you can't let it go is because you know it's the truth. And I feel like you're seeing that now. So the hardest part of all of this is accepting it. So if this is your reading, it's important to try and accept this situation. So... Clarify the judgment. We have the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so Three of Pentacles, this can represent co-worker energy. Um, work, of course, the Eight of Pentacles. Maybe there's something going on here. The fact that it's clarifying judgment. Give me more on the judgment card. Six of Wands. Okay, so maybe a co-worker is giving you attention or giving your spouse attention. Giving them drinks. Five of Cups energy. This could be a concern for you or a concern for your partner. Like maybe they feel like you and a coworker are friendly or maybe you guys have drinks together. And I feel like this could this could be what you're deciding right now. If they're being faithful, Hierophant in the reverse, Death card in the reverse. Should you let this go? This fire sign, Queen of Wands, should you let this go and walk away? It's hard to emotionally let go of this, of course, because I do feel like this is someone that you do care about a lot. And vice versa. I mean, you guys have this relationship, this marriage, whatever it is. But yeah, this, I'll pull advice, but this is going to be hard. Like, I'm, this is, it's like a cycle that's breaking, but it's like, you think maybe this has been your security for so long. Like, maybe you've been with this person for so like You don't know. You've built this life. So advice for the Queen of Cups and the Four of Swords. This is allowing yourself to heal and listening to your intuition. Look at this girl. She is listening to the universe. She is in tune with herself. Listen to yourself. And it's going to be really hard. We have the Three of Swords, which of course is the heartbreak. But then we go to the Four of Swords. You will heal from this. Regardless of what it is that's going on here. Yeah, and I feel like this is not, like I said, it's not going to be easy. And I see you all over the place. Just trying to decide. Trying to find balance. Trying to make sense of this. There's no making sense of it. This person is selfish. That's the problem. There's no making sense of this. So, yeah. 
work on accepting. I feel like that's the biggest thing to overcome right now. So I do hope that this reading was helpful for you. If you would like a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com and I hope you have a wonderful day.